Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and today, welcome to Circuit Venting Part 3, Sizing of a Simple Circuit Vented System. In order for you to fully understand this video, it's best to have prior knowledge on some basic plumbing tables like 2493 and 2410-6A, B, and C. Back into our plumbing code. 2531 Part 9 talks about how we size the circuit vented branch. And we just use our branch tables for that, which is 2,4,10,6,B. Let's have a look at how to use these. Now, fortunately, the branch table is super easy to use. The left-hand column is the size of branch in inches, and the right-hand column is the corresponding fixture units that you can actually drain down those drain pipes. For example, I have 25 fixture units, and it's draining through a branch. Well, I look at the branch table on the right-hand column, I have a choice of 12 fixed units or 27. Well, 12 is not big enough, so I go to 27 and the corresponding size is three inch. So we're going to size the circuit vented branch. You will need to reference code table 2493 to find the fixture units of the different fixtures, but I will tell you, we have flush tank water closets. They are four fixture units each. Well, let's look at pipe A. Pipe A has two water closets draining through it. So 2 times 4 fixed units equals 8 fixed units. Now here's a weird one. If we look on our branch table, it says that, hey, we can do 2.5 inch pipe on 12 fixed units. Well, guess what? That pipe doesn't exist. But the other side of this is the water closet has a fixture outlet pipe of 3 inches. Therefore, pipe A needs to be 3 inches because we can't go smaller. Let's look at pipe B now. Pipe B is downstream of three water closets, so 3 times 4 is 12 fixture units. Still needs to be minimum 3 inch because of the size of the fixture outlet pipe for the water closet. And now we have a code clause we need to put in here. 2492 part 2 says, Branch and building drains downstream of the third water closet fixture drain connection shall be not less than 4 inches in size. Therefore, part B by this clause needs to be 4 inches. So for pipes C and D, let's look at our branch table. We're already four inch and we can't go smaller and we can do 180 fixture units on four inch. Well, at pipe D, we have only 32 fixture units. So we're gonna be four inch for the rest of the way. Now pipe E is just a part of the circuit vent. However, just to the right of it is a clean out fitting. Now this clean out needs to serve a four inch pipe that goes from B through to the end. So that clean out needs to be minimum three inches in size. Therefore, pipe E needs to be minimum three inches in size. It is finally time to size the circuit vent, but before we can do that, we need to know a couple things. First of all, the fixture unit load. That's easy. We have eight water closets at four fixture units each. That is 32 fixture units. The next part is the developed length. We'll need to read a code to figure out how to measure that. Code clause 2583 part Four. For the purposes of table 2583, the length of a circuit vent shall be its developed length from the horizontal soil waste pipe connection to a vent stack, stack vent, vent header, or outside air. Another way to think about this developed length is you need to go to the first circuit vented fixtures and start measuring from that point. That will be right here. Now you need to go all the way to either vent stack, stack vent, vent header, or outside air. For this example, we're just going to outside air. So that equals one plus two plus five meters. That is eight meters of developed length. Now we need to look at table 2583. I need to go down the hydraulic load column, which is on the far left, and I have 32 fixture units. Well, I can go to 24 or 42. So I'll have to go to 42. Then I go across to the right, there's a blank space on the one and a quarter inch column, but I can go up to nine meters on one and a half inch. I've only have eight meters to develop length. One and a half inches is good. So we need to size that relief vent. And unfortunately, if we go through the clauses in 2531 under the circuit venting section, it doesn't tell us how. The closest thing we get is clause 10. Additional circuit vents shall be sized in accordance with table 2571 and sentence 25731. Clause 2573 is entitled Additional Circuit Vents and Relief Vents. Hmm, we better use that then. Except as provided in Article 2571 and Sentence 25317, 
The minimum size of an additional circuit vent or relief vent installed in conjunction with the circuit vent is permitted to be one size smaller than the required size of the circuit vent, but need not be larger than two inches. We've already determined that our circuit vent is to be one and a half inches. This clause we just went through says we can be one size smaller than that, which is one and a quarter inches, but it also told us that we need to reference clause 2571, which is going to tell us to look at table 2571. Let's do that. I hope you were already familiar with table 2571. It is a very important table that we need to use for all vents. This looks at the size of trap being served and it gives a minimum size of vent for that. In this example, we have three inch water closet traps. Therefore, we need a minimum of one and a half inch vent. So that relief vent needs to be minimum one and a half inches. Well, we are almost finished circuit venting, but there is still one more video to go. But until then, you have yourself a wonderful day.